this is a plant you don't want to run into. I don't think you want to get thrown into it. You've heard of Br'er Rabbit being thrown into the briar patch? Well, I don't think he'd want to be thrown into Choya. This is Wolf Choya. Wolf Choya is a plant that is pretty familiar in the Anza Borrego State Park and the and Mufero Canyon. It's like Silver Choya. If you came across it without it being in bloom and you weren't really an expert, you'd say, ah! It looks like silver choya because it's got these silver-looking needles. In fact, then when I came up to it, I said, is that silver choya? Then I went to a book and it said, no, it's wolf choya because it's got a broader spread. It's more open. It's not as dense. We happen to be hitting it at a wonderful time. This is a bloom cycle. We're here in April. It blooms March through May. It's one of the first bloomers. It's got a beautiful, beautiful maroon and brown flower, outside petals, tepals. Those are the things that are so confusing because you can't tell whether it's a calyx or a petal because everything is mixed in. Cactus pack a tremendous amount of information into their flower. They have just a short period of time to get it done. Um, they have a lot of yellow exposed inside of the flower cluster and in there are anthers and those anthers are sigma trophic which means that if an insect comes in and says okay I want to eat you the anthers will grab the insect making sure that it's loaded with pollen they have a pistol that is huge when they get through they have a funny little fruit that will fall off. Unlike the prickly pear where you would go and eat the fruit, this sort of teacup shaped fruit falls to the ground and like all the choyas, it's really designed to snag and be moved from one place to another. One of the worst things that can happen to you out in the field is you step on one of these things, you get one of those in your shoe and in your foot, it can be very painful. What you want to have with you is a comb. Primarily a comb that is designed for lice because it's so fine you can get these needles out of your skin or out of whatever they're stuck into. Here in front of me is Cylindropuntia wolfii, the wolf choya that looks like silver choya but is its own species. And it's really a big deal out on the deserts of the San Diego region.